Welcome back to Living 808. Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii is honoring Hawaii's fallen military personnel with volunteers, veterans, and supporters of the event. And today we have two very special guests, longtime volunteers and supporters of the Shinyo Lantern Floating Ceremony, former Hawaii State Adjunct General and retired Major General of the United States Air Force and Hawaii Air National Guard, Daryl Wong, and retired Chief Master Sergeant of the Hawaii National Guard and current Operations Manager of the Hawaii State Veterans Cemetery, Rob Lee. Aloha, you guys. Aloha. Thanks so much for joining us today. Our pleasure. Now, I know you guys are longtime supporters of this event, but let's talk about how you guys initially got involved. What about you, General? Well, Rob and I have been not only working friends, but we truly are friends for the rest of our lives. And he started an organization called NACOA, and we were mentoring a lot of young airmen and soldiers in Hawaii National Guard. And he brought in a woman called Charlene Flanter that had a huge uh, influence on our lives after we met her and when we started learning about lantern floating. Wonderful. And how did you get involved? So seeking um, the perfect find, I'd like to say, as a luminary in our community, Charlene uh, was really the perfect fit for what we wanted to do in uh, grooming and mentoring the young leaders of tomorrow. And when Charlene uh, introduced herself and we found out that she was connected with Nale Foundation and Nale Foundation again with Shinyuan Lantern Floating, um, it was again the perfect match for us, the perfect marriage in the sense of again what we wanted to accomplish in leading our, our young leaders. And I couldn't ask for such a, a more profound and better uh, platform than the Lantern Float. I love that. And what would you say, I mean, after, you know, supporting for so long, how do you think it's impacted you? Well, for me, it's, it's really changed my life. It's refocused or it's kind of recentered myself in community service, um, understanding what it is to be uh, a selfless servant. Uh, I think, you know, as a National Guard member, we sort of lead that way. But it becomes more defined and refined uh, when you get the opportunity to do things in the community like uh, what Lantern Float offers to our, our island communities. And, and speaking of, I mean, not just community, but especially the military community. So what connection would you say the military has to this event? You know, we've, we've just left, you know, 16 years of war. And, you know, a lot of it is remember our fallen heroes. So in Memorial Day, we remember the fallen heroes. But in the end, there's a lot of more suffering that the rest of the community has. And our veterans, they fought these wars for peace so that people can enjoy uh, an event like the Shinyuan Lantern Floating, where you can bring together 40 to 50,000 people in one mind. And if you've ever been to this uh, event, it's the most peaceful place you could, you could ever spend your life or the amount of hours that you spend there. 40 to 50,000 people that you don't even know, but everybody is under one mind, and it's such a peaceful event. Yeah, so peaceful, and I, and I think that is a really great way to describe it. Um, what else would you, I guess, what other words would you use to describe to those who've never been to an event before? How would you describe it? You know, I think there's a lot of people in our community that you know, have remembrances of loved ones or friends or, or, or anyone. So it, it's one way to come and um, it's personal, but it's also collectively in the whole community to come to an event like that and share your memories on a, on a little lantern and float it out into the ocean. And it's combined with thousands of other lanterns. So it's kind of, like I said, it's personal for you, but it's collective for a whole community here in Hawaii. Yeah, and I think it's another really beautiful thing to see, you know, a lot of folks that are going through these grief journeys that you're not alone, that so many others are going through similar things or, or have lost loved ones as well. So for those that want to participate or are looking to get out there or even looking to volunteer as you guys do, where can we go for more information? You can go to the Nale Foundation uh, website and uh, they provide uh, all the connection information you would need. Um, they do plan quite a few events prior to the ceremony and more especially after when they do the um, resetting 
for the preparation for the next year is uh, where the volunteers can really help a lot too as well. Wonderful, and we'll have a link to their website on our website at kh12.com under the Living 808 tab. But Memorial Day, it's just a few days away, the day to honor our fallen heroes and others that we have lost in our lives. And there's no better place than at the Chignot Lantern Floating Ceremony. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining us and sharing the information. Thank you. And of course, thank you both for your service. Thank you.